Hi, I'm Ernestine Fu, currently 20 years old, just finished my sophomore year at Stanford University, and I'm working as an associate at Alsop Louis Partners. And that means you're an associate venture capitalist, right? Yes. So, Ernestine, what does a student slash venture capitalist do? Okay, so as a student venture capitalist, I not only go to school, but also work part-time as a venture capitalist, which means that I provide financial capital to early stage startup companies that I see as high potential, but they're also usually high risk. And these are entrepreneurs you find on Stanford campus yes, usually? Yes, usually on Stanford campus or in general, the Bay Area. And what do you look for when you're looking for an entrepreneur to give all this money to? Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you mentioned entrepreneur because I really look for the entrepreneur as opposed to the idea or the company itself. So pretty much there's, I would say, three main things I look for in an entrepreneur. One, passion. Um, two, being able to be flexible. And three, being optimistic. So being passionate, really being engaged and excited about what you're doing, it's really important that you love what you're doing um, because I find that these people create the best products. Um, second of all, being flexible, you really have to be able to go through the ups and downs of a startup company. Sometimes you have to wear many different hats. One day you can be the janitor, next right. day you can be the CEO. <laughs> so you have to be able to be very flexible, realize that your business plan can change, and sometimes you have to toss away your most cherished idea. And the third thing is just being optimistic. Um, a startup company, it can usually take around three or five years before you succeed. So just being really optimistic, thinking big, having high expectations. So once again, I would say optimistic, flexible, and um, being um, passionate. <laughs> so you seem like you're all of these three things. Have you ever considered being an entrepreneur yourself? Um, I would say that people, venture capitalists tend to invest in people that are like themselves. So right. maybe that's why I love those three qualities. And I would say that even though I haven't started my own for-profit company, I have display entrepreneurship in many different ways. I think usually people think an entrepreneur as someone who has started a company, but I would say it's someone who just sees an innovative solution to a problem that others can't see. So for example, imagine there's a rock on the floor. Right. A million people walk past it, but the true entrepreneur is the one that picks it up and creates a company out of it, kind of expands on that idea. So in that uh, way- A throwing rock company? <laughs> Yes, yeah, throwing right. rocks. <laughs> so, so are you going to be doing this in 10 years? Are you going to still be a venture capitalist or you just don't know yet? Or? I'm still a little bit unsure. I know that definitely I'll be doing something that I love doing, something that I love to wake up and I'll just be really excited to do. So I think I see myself as having three different paths, entrepreneurship, philanthropy, and engineering, and probably doing some sort of combination of all of them. So That's in Ernestine. one word, Ernestine Fu, what is your executive style? I would say it would be the Ernestine style. The Ernestine, that's three words. <laughs> Ernestine. Okay, Ernestine, there you go, Ernest. thank you. <laughs>